What's up guys, it's Lucas from Content Fries and in today's episode of Content Fridays we will take a look at the new trimmer that is a work in progress, so keep that in mind but I think this is something really mind-blowing and I will tell you a story that's basically behind it which is also very important so let me just jump right into it and here shout out to Eddie which uh, basically give us the permission to show you uh, what we are building on his content because his content is an edge case it is a great example of a content that content creators really need to process into multiple clips into multiple fries out of one long form interview or podcast you know that drill you know that stuff and this is really amazing you know, example content that we will take a look at and explain how the new content fries trimmer will basically work and where we are heading with it because I think we are building something truly unique and really amazing. So let me just go into the new interface and this is basically it. So you will paste a link to YouTube or you will upload your content into new trimmer and click one button and it will co come up with you know several pieces of content. AI will analyze the transcription and basically come up with something like this. So in this particular case we have five pieces of content and what's the most important stuff? Let me explain the interface a bit. It might seem familiar, it might seem kind of confusing if you see it first but actually this is super easy to use and it's much better than the current trimmer that's available in content price so let me explain how this works so after we analyze the content with AI it will automatically with content pieces and we can click on some of the word to set, set it as a starting point okay so when i click for example on this word i can set it as start so let me do that and i can also change the ending okay and when i want to make my clip longer i can click this button and i can you know show next block and i can go as f down as i want so i can make my clip basically as long as I want. So we will talk about it maybe next time. But currently this is primarily for short form pieces of content. Content that you bring into the trimmer. We assume you want to create clips, you want to create reels, YouTube shorts, you know, TikTok videos and stuff like that. Okay, so this is the baseline. This is something that I want you to keep in mind when uh, you are looking at this and basically this is kind of similar as you have in the opus pro okay the layout i would say is similar with one difference instead of one piece of content you have two layout you know two column layout basically but we are bringing more capabilities and our ending goal basically with this is that you will be able to do everything from this section right here. That means when we have this, we want to make it possible so you can remove words. For example, if you don't want this part in the transcription, you will be able to highlight it and remove it from the video. Remove silences, remove arsenals and displaces and stuff like that, but also apply you know template apply subtitle preset that you want to use and let me just see the video so we can see what basically happening as you can see it is automatically centered to the speaker okay so this is eddie and it makes it i think this is uh, around this is basically the point that we see in the video okay so it crops to this position and when we continue it will automatically all the way to taiwan man let's just see what what happens originally i came 
as you can see, Eddie has some transition in the video and it automatically detects it. The AI that's processing the video will see all the transitions that you have in the video and will run face detection AI that will, you know, see all the faces and put those speakers in the center. And the last thing that we are basically working on is that it will also split the screen. So if you have two speakers, as in this video, one speaker will be in the upper half and the second speaker will be at the bottom of the video, also centered and everything flawlessly ready for you. So we will just do, you know, some simple adjustments and then you can simply export the video and also we will add an option to export all of the videos that you have here with a simple with one button click so you can download all your pieces of content export all of them at once and download them and schedule them anywhere you want and also in the future we will add a quote generator so you will not only have video clips here but also quotes and images that you can share from your content on social media okay so this is how this thing will work and let me continue if you want to make some advanced you know adjustments you can go into editor so we will just click this button and go into the editor and you know fine tune subtitles everything as you are used to in the new context editor so super simple super fast and efficient and let me for example go to subtitles and here i can make my adjustments so i can uh, change the characters per subtitle. Let me just give it a few seconds to load because as I'm sharing the screen, this takes longer. And let me decrease this to 20, for example. And just like that, I can modify everything that I have in the video. Okay, I can also modify the font and everything, but all these basic adjustments will be available in the trimmer. So font size, subtitles, presets, templates, position of the subtitles, you know, also apply AI emojis, apply B-rolls in the futures, stuff like that. So you can do 90, maybe 95% of stuff in the new trimmer interface. If you want to go more in deep, then you can use the editor to do that. Okay, so that's basically what we are working. As you can see, we have multiple videos here and that it automatically detects all the you know, transition and splits and stuff and automatically adjust the video. So the right frame is in the video and all that stuff. Uh, so this is how this uh, thing will work. Let me ask, uh, quickly tell you a quick backstory behind the new trimmer because we recently launched an option to create you know five pieces of content for people for first 30 people that filled up in a short survey they got basically five pieces of free videos that we made for them from their long video and this was one of the best thing that we uh, basically could do because it gave us so many ideas that we can implement into content price to make it better and one of those things was also the trimmer we uh, me and my colleagues we were you know working on the videos just to you know understand your needs better and one of the steps in the workflow was that we uploaded the video into the trimmer and then we had to find those five clips and this process took us you know 50 to 60 minutes in some videos it took even longer and then i was experimenting with an ai and i was thinking you know it's not possible to replicate what we did manually 
there is no way that AI will be able to see the clips and detect the same clips as we did manually. But as I was playing with it and experimenting with it, it just blew my mind because four of five clips in videos that I was testing were the same as I manually extracted in the trimmer. And one of those clips was exactly the same. Even the starting and ending point was exactly the same. Three of those, those clips were basically, you know, a sub part of the clips that I found manually. That's why it's super easy to adjust the starting and ending time in the new trimmer interface just by clicking at the word where you want to set the beginning and the ending. And the one clip and in the last clip, one clip was something different, but it was absolutely okay. I tried multiple videos and all of those all on a average had the same results with the AI. And if we are asking, we are not using open AI models for this. Actually, we are using anthropic models, Claude 3, for this because I think it's just better and it really understands the content and the requirements that we have uh, in our content repurposing just better and the clips are really high quality. So this is basically the new content fry streamer. Let me just see the video. And uh, basically this is uh, the, the context editor. And if you want to adjust the framing, okay, you have cover, content and split. As I said, uh, split option is currently a work in progress. This is currently not working but you will be able to split the scene up to four you know speakers that means two speakers will be at the top two speakers will be at the bottom ai will do all the heavy lifting and correctly place everyone at the correct position but if you want to adjust it you can just simply select the video and reframe it by simple drag and drop or you can choose contain if you prefer this. Also, this is something new, allow blur background. And as you can see, now we have this layout right here where we have both speakers at the screen and also blurred background of what's in the video. Okay, so this is great if you are doing something like this. As you see here, if you are sharing screen, for example, or sharing some presentation, then the content option is definitely a way to go. And also if the face is very small in the video, as in this example, which is basically, it will not be, you know, taken into account by the AI to not make false positives. Uh, so, in this case, if I place this video into the trimmer and the AI analyzes it, it will place it like this. Okay, so it will be contained and it will have this blurred video background. The second variation is cover, which is basically this, and it will automatically center the speaker that's currently speaking. So if you are alone in the video, it will look similarly to this. And then there is the split option that's currently in pro. Okay, so let me go back to the trimmer. And this is the new version of the trimmer. So this is the most important news that I wanted to share with you. So let me know what you think, because I think this will, you know, completely transform content fries. And we are also thinking of, you know, simplifying the context system because when you are uploading your content, you are usually thinking if the final video should be, you know, portrait video, it should be for real TikTok, YouTube shorts, if it should be landscape video, for example, for YouTube, or maybe you want to create square video for Facebook, LinkedIn, and uh, platform like that. And uh, for these cases, 
you don't necessarily want to leverage and use context uh, which kind of automate this and you don't have to think about what is the ideal resolution for these videos but uh, for example if you use this then uh, you, you will be able to simply transform your you know portrait video into landscape version and we will also add it here also to square version and other aspect ratios and then if you want to make custom adjustments for example in a square linkedin video then you can use context but uh, from uh, what we see the context system is not very you know utilized so this will lead to simplification in the ui and uh, you will just be able to automatically basically resize your content into multiple aspect ratios and if you want to ad make adjustments for a specific platforms then that would that would be some you know advanced use case that not many people will utilize you will be able to do that so if we want to make the same video but different looking for linkedin then you will be able to use the context for that okay so this will also you know mirrors into the uploader to make the uploader simpler and uh, many other things that we are currently implementing and let me just show you a couple of examples of the videos that we made for people that requested the you know content stuff so i will go into the fry section and one of the things that we added into content fries before this new trimmer is for example in this example when i go into it and this is actually live okay so the new trimmer is not available but what i'm going to show you is that we we'll, i will split or i will change into reels but this is something that you can use as of now in content rise and that's this stuff as you can see i have five videos here and it's super simple to do this and the reason why i have five videos is because i have this person that's currently speaking you know centered in the frame and if you need to do something like this as you can see in this part we have you know some change and uh, i think i was testing something here so let me just click this and this will only affect this part of the video but i think in this part this person is speaking okay so this is how you can do this you will just go into timeline and you, you will select the video and hit t and it will split the video into you know it will add a cut at the time at the exact position and then you can click either the first or the second video and then you can you know readjust it as you want so i can make it bigger i can make whatever i want so maybe something like this and now when i play the video okay okay and as you can see now we have these fancy transitions in our video so this is how this is what we were working in the last uh, time frame in the last weeks and the new trimmer is the you know that's a huge change and i'm super excited to you know bring this to you this month i believe we will be able to bring the new version of the trimmer this month and release it in the first accessible version where you'll be able to uh, use the words to make time changes you will be able to choose different presets for your videos but also 
select one preset and apply that preset to all of your videos if you prefer to do that remove silences and displaces uh, and basically remove parts and sentences and words from the video from the one simple to use interface and then export everything and download it so it's a lot of work it's uh you know something that we are basically building from scratch but even in this phase that's not uh, released yet i'm currently playing with it and testing it and you know fine-tuning it and so uh, moving it forward it's a pleasure to work with it because it makes so many things simpler and we as i was testing it what i did previously in 50 to 60 minutes with this new tool it is taking just five to six minutes and when we are not when it will be not necessary to go into the editor and we are able to do 90 or maybe 95 percent of the stuff in this simple interface in this place then i think the time savings will be really massive that means if we are able to process one video that's for example two hours long in a let's say 20 maybe 30 minutes maybe maybe less then that would be a game changer because that's currently taking i would say maybe two or three hours okay so that's where we are heading with this so it always depends on your level of you know atten attention to detail if you don't want to make some fancy stuff you'll be basically good to go in in minutes if you are more detail oriented then maybe a couple of dozens of minutes will be necessary to make the content that you that you want it's always you know at the personal level of preference so with that in mind that this is what i wanted to share with you so definitely let me know what you think because i think this is a true true game changer i really believe that the trimmer had and really desperately needed an update and this is what i think might be the great replacement for the old version of the trimmer that's basically the last part of the legacy content price that's still live and with this new interface everything will be much smoother and faster so let me know what you think enjoy your weekend and thank you very much for your time patience and have an awesome weekend